This is a story about pediatric stroke. Let's take a trip into your blood vessels. Here are some red blood cells in an artery. That's a vessel that carries blood to the body. And blood moves all around our bodies to get us the oxygen and nutrients we need. These three blood cells in particular are on their way to the brain. They're just taking their time to get there. Suddenly, one of the blood cells notices something weird happening in the blood vessel. It's twisting and tearing. Some of the blood cells are going out of the tear, pushing against the outside of the artery, making it tighter. Cells are bumping into each other and everything is sticky, and they can't make it through the vessel. Oh no! I know it seems scary, but let's work together to figure out how we can help. Here's a very sick boy. His parents notice his smile looks different, and he has a tingling feeling in his arm. It can be very scary for mom and dad who don't know what's wrong. But with the doctor's help and help from their team, we can tell that this boy has had a stroke. This means that his brain hasn't been getting enough blood. Think of it like a farm. On a farm, crops need water to grow. If there's a kink in the hose and the water stops flowing, the crops will not grow. But if you fix the hose to keep the water moving, the crops will start to grow again. In the same way, there will be problems if blood can't get to the brain. Sometimes, strokes are caused by a little piece of bone in the spine called a bone spur, which only some people have. When they turn their head really far, like someone trying to shoot a bow and arrow, that spur can twist and narrow the artery. This is called bow hunter syndrome. Doctors can help in a few ways. One way is to surgically remove the bone spur. Another way is to restrict the movement of the neck so that the vessel won't get twisted. Another important treatment is medicine, which will make the blood cells less sticky and help them keep moving. Let's try medicine to see if we can get the blood flowing to the brain again. The blood vessel is narrow and the red blood cells are stuck, which means they aren't getting to the brain. But if we use medicine, like aspirin, to make everything slippery so the cells got unstuck. Now the blood cells can slip through the narrowing. Medicine also helps the red blood cells stay inside of the vessel, while time allows the hole to get better. Now the vessel is healed, and the blood cells can go back to taking their walks. Being sick is no fun. With time, patience, and your doctor's help, you'll be feeling better in no time.